Good morning, Facebook. It's 10 o'clock. It's Thursday. It's Blubbing for Britain, episode 208. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. And as I say, Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. May you all have a good time. No, I'm a bit hoarse because you people enjoy yourself, but I'm actually working on Christmas Eve, um, Christmas Eve and uh, New Year. Uh-huh. So... I see it from an entertainer's point of view, and it's actually hard work, you know. But yeah, I enjoy I, it. I enjoy it. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Uh, Blowing through in episode two hundred and eight, and Happy New Year. And Peter sang us in, and uh, oh, that's a good start. Now, all we're waiting for is Mr. John Upton and uh, Mr. Stephen Silk and Peter to come back. He disappeared. If you're watching live, thank you. Just say hello and we'll wish you a happy new year in person, as it were. Uh, now, the last time we broadcast was two weeks ago. So got to dust off the cobwebs and get things going again. And um, really look forward to what's going to happen this year. Um, so what's happening this year is this. Um, I'm very fortunate to be able to network with friends. And in 2020, I'll be networking with Brigetti, Tina, Marco, Cheryl, Lottie, Linda, David, of course, Angelica, John, Peter, Stephen, and Fonz. So it's, that's where we're starting this year. We're starting with the gang, with the crew, and uh, Happy New Year to all of them. And... Happy New Year to you as well, as we're in the studio. I can hear noises off. I've got Peter in the background. Uh, I am Peter's having camera problems. Um, perhaps, I, I don't know, uninstall it, Peter, if you can find it to uninstall. And then... Yeah. All right. Now, I, I know it appears that I'm talking to myself, but I'm actually talking to Peter. Let's just turn the camera, sorry, turn the softbox around so you can't actually see it. Okay, normally you don't see that because it's hiding. Um, and that's that. I uh, can't use natural light today. It's a grey day, so the lights are on. And um, yeah, I'm just waiting for Peter to, uh, to join me. Um, but whilst he is, I can put this along the bottom of the screen. Wish you a happy, healthy and prosperous 2020. What happened to the last 10 years is the question. And what's going to happen in the next 10? Um, we're fortunate to actually celebrate New Year's Eve with family. Uh, and then yesterday, as you possibly seen, we went out to uh, visit Stonehenge. Uh, it was a cold, but it wasn't raining. There is that to it. Uh, so we were able to walk around Stonehenge uh, full circle and uh, join thousands of other people from all over the world who actually visit Stonehenge on a, well, on a daily basis. Um, ah, I can see a picture. And in that picture is three, two, one. It's Peter. Hello. Hello again. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we're we're back, and uh, yeah, the message that you got earlier uh, about your computer. Do you got any other tabs open? I know. I've only got Facebook, which I've turned off. Right. Okay. That's the only tab I've got, unless there's anything sitting in the background doing, but there's nothing else. Right. A... Okay. I'm. I'm trying to find out at the moment exactly what the message means uh it's yeah. obviously there for a purpose and now i know not only does it appear on my machine it appears on yours as well so, okay uh, yeah but it's it's mm, it's helpful but not totally helpful because no uh, i'm gonna have to write to expert and see why i'm having problems as well anyway where's the rest of the people today i don't know i don't know perhaps they're, they're waking up it's only the second day of the year well, it's actually an official public holiday here, you know, in Scotland. Oh, right. 
Okay. We get the first and the second off. Yeah. Right. Well, we only we only get the first. Today yeah, no. is, is ostensibly a working day. Um, yeah. Well, before he gets here, just just stop that for a moment and uh, remind mm -hmm. ourselves that uh, Tish has said happy birthday, John. So John could be late because he's he's uh, celebrating his birthday. All right. Okay. And Tish is here. She did say hello. Tish is live today. That's good. Happy New Year, Tish. Uh, oh, it's should coming on. Yeah. Yeah. Why not a New Year's resolution to actually appear with us? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, camera. You're more than welcome. I'll post the link uh, now. So I've copied the link. And uh, if I say join us. Then anybody who's watching the show can actually uh, click no. that link and uh, <laughs> check out your camera and microphone, and you'll actually be able to come on air and join us. Well, one of the things I've done at the end of the year, are you in LinkedIn with me, Stephen? I'm in LinkedIn, but not necessarily with you. Okay. Well, I put out a post, right? And I can't believe the reach of it. I've had over 20,000 views. Oh, wow. You know, and then people contacting me to link in with me and all sorts of chief executives and everything having a look. And um, and it was just an off the cuff one at the end of the year. I done. It was quite interesting to mm. to see what's out there. And uh, it wasn't a sales job or anything like that. It was motivational. And mm -hmm. uh, it went, I just can't believe I think it's up to about 21,000 now. Right, okay. People are still seeing it and commenting on it, you know. What was the title? Um, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can share it with us if you want. Hold on. Yeah, how do I do that again? Right. Basically, go, go to the page. Yeah. Yeah, and then from within the studio where you are now, on the left-hand side menu is uh, an upward arrow. Right. It says share screen. Okay, now wait a minute now. See, I've never done this for a long time. Now, where is it? Where do I find the, the last post? <sighs> 22,644 views. Right, where would I find the right. that top, actual... Top left-hand corner. Oh, no, of my... I'm trying to find it on my page now. All oh, right, okay. Right, hold on. 157 people viewed it. Let's just see. No. Sorry about this. No, you're and, right. Right, where is it now? Activity. See all. Wait a minute. I'll get that on the page. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Right, so. Um, I found the page. Right, so I'm going to come into Be Live. And then I go on to the share screen. Yep. Can you, right, what do I do now? Application. I, I see that share tab. your screen. Chrome Cl tab. Chrome, Chrome tab. tab. Okay. LinkedIn one. Okay. Share. Got it. It's okay. coming through. It's coming through. It's, it's blank at the moment. I'm just waiting for the, the picture to right. arrive. Okay, I'm going to bring it up on screen. Okay. I'm going to switch my camera off. I'm going to put your picture in picture that way around and you can yeah. talk better if you wish. Mm. Can you read it? Uh, I, I, I can't, Peter, but I'm sure. <laughs> right. Okay. I'll read it out. At okay. the age of 46, I was left with seven black bags to my name and I was seven days from being on the street all due to a family breakup. I was in debt and stressed. A friend managed to get me a job in London for, for which I was truly grateful. That's what friends are for. I will be 60 back on my life. It has not been easy. I nearly died two years ago. However, I survived thanks to our wonderful NHS. But I struggled on. Paid off all my debt and now employing people again. This year, the bank pulled me in for a chat. I was surprised as they had never spoken to me before. 
and uh, and to me they were just a hole in the wall. There had been no communication whatsoever. What do they want? I wonder. They informed me that the computer said that I had a high growth business. Was there anything they could do for me? Wow. And then I put, I know that some of you may be reading this and find yourself stressed with your business or finding a job or life in general. But after reading this, I hope you too can see there is light at the end of the tunnel. I wish you all, even my competitors, a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Finally, please give a thought to this less fortunate than yourself. And I'm just amazed by the amount of people that have seen it. As I say, pretty well now. Back Thank to you. you. The town was written in, um, and you, as you say, you have battled and come through the other side, and it acts as a, a as you, reason for posting it was to actually help others. And, yeah. yeah, and but what, what amazes is there was no selling or anything there, and what I'm amazed is the reach it got. Mm -hmm. yep. The reach, unbelievable. Right. Um, so, um, and I've just had somebody on about they're going to start not having alcohol. And again, a proper post, I said, well, I'm in my 15th year without it. If you ever need any tips or help or anybody else sees us, give me a shout. So it's a new peer. And Tish is saying amen, Peter. So <laughs> your, your words are resonating with people. That's a purple pink cup. Well, it's I got it from a a place called Converge. It was uh -huh. free, so I took it. So, how was your New Year apart from going to Stonehenge? Uh, I I'm just getting going again. I mean, I managed to do some things over the uh, break, yeah. holiday break, uh, which right. felt quite well because it it meant the whole week was you were able to, yeah. Box it off. And yourself? You've been out and about? Well, I'm doing, I'm walking on, you seen me walking yesterday with the dog. I, I, I saw it, yes. I said yeah. Happy New Year. That's right. So I was walking and uh, Sheila, she actually climbed one of our local hills on Hogmanay to see New Year. And mm -hmm. there was a piper on top of the hill. It's a place called Benahee, very famous place in Aberdeen. There's about 100 people on the hill climbed up there oh. and then I came back and do you know once you've been singing right one of the mm -hmm. things as people don't know is you actually will eat anything in front of you because you've burned so much energy and I came in and I sat down and I actually had uh, yogurt with cream and some berries and I noticed a car was still was there and I thought oh so go to bed so I fell asleep on the yeah. chair right. and the next thing the dog's coming in and knocking men things and running back and forth. What's going on? What's what? You want the toilet or something? And how was she outside? I'd locked her out. <laughs> she, she, I forgot somebody else had picked her up, and that was how we met at New Year. <laughs> and we say good morning and happy birthday to Mr. John Upton. Three, two, one. Oh. Happy birthday, John. Thank you. Are you, you, you. On your birthday, you've not got a cold, have you? Ah, oh, bloody well. Oh, birthday. How old, how old are you, John? How old? Um, yeah. Enough. Enough, yeah. yeah. I'm 60 and you're 60. 64. Yeah. When I get older, losing my hair. Oh, yeah, I lost your when hair. When I'm 64, yeah. yeah. Well, you still be saying, oh, but better watch. That's less than 10 seconds. So I'm a bit late. Unexpected visitors at the front door. Oh, well, right. Five to ten, you know, like, go away. Ah, I know. <laughs> I know it's funny when that happens, is it? No. Well, well that They're here because it's my birthday, so. <laughs> it's my fault in a way. <laughs> where's, where's Dr. Star Trek? Where is he today? Well, don't know. It he, he said he was he coming if he could wash his hair, so I presume he hasn't oh. washed his hair. 
<laughs> right, let's even things up until he gets here. Okay. Um, there you are. Oh. Uh, right, and coming from Tish, that's great, John. You still look young, though I suppose feeling like it is different. I think she's got her fingers crossed when she's saying that. Yeah. I'm just imagining John without a beard and haircut back. You don't 10 years younger, man. Never thought of it. I don't look 64, so let's get on a couple of years and get rid of that. Do you know what I Tell me I don't look 64, so. Well, you know something? I'm absolutely dreading being 60. Why? Dreading it. It's because, an old event, Pete. Honestly. Know, because, because all my health problems and everything, you're only allowed another 10 years across the Bible. I might not get 10. Yeah, well, uh, my dad said when he was 70, yeah, three score and 10. Three score and I'm 10. I'm going next week. It took him another 14 years. <laughs> Do you know, I'd like to... I'd like to think that if I live long, there's, there's got to be a purpose in it. Not <coughs> See, the reason I've got my hair like this is that I've still got hair, Peter, you know, so I've got uh, to celebrate I'm growing, I've still I'm getting mine longer. I'm growing mine longer. I'm going to get long and just go right over the back to hold, to get rid of my bald patch. I, I'm, I'm just imagining you, you with a, a coxcomb, a green coxcomb, you know, like a punk. Right. No, with this year... Uh, I'm waiting for the sales. I'm actually going to be buying genuine type hats, no ah, yeah. type. Fedora Can you tell us again, that. Pete? We'll, we'll have it engraved on our minds. Oh, I've told you before. <laughs> 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 yeah, definitely. Yeah, just that. a bit. Yeah. So um, people usually say, "What's your resolutions?" Well, I don't have any because I just break them anyway. But I am. What I plan to do this is get fitter. Get fitter. That's what I plan to do. I'm feeling I'm feeling not bad already. Put the electric we got my electric blanket, Sister Sheila. I went to my bed two days ago and I said, Bloody, my bed's freezing. And uh, so we got out the electric blanket and what a sleep I had last night. It was fantastic. Yeah, and my new pajamas I got from Sheila from Asda. At Walmart in America. <laughs> so what have you been up to, John? Well, I've enjoyed the really nice weather and I've spent a lot of the time down the allotment <laughs> getting okay. ready for next, well, so getting ready for this year. Very good. The only day I didn't go down was Christmas Day. Uh, on the one day that I absolutely tipped it down. But other than that, yeah. I've been down for three, uh, about three or four hours. Okay. Every day. So what do you do at the allotment at this time of year? Um, just cut things back, you know, um, streaming. You just, you can't stop the grass growing, Pete, whatever you do. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. I was watching, this is for the Americans that are maybe listening. I was watching the internet. Guy got fined for not cutting his grass because they've got something called OHS, some homeowners association or something. And then the council fined him. And the council actually has taken their house from them, foreclosed on them for not paying, because they let the fines build up. And they're actually looking to make it illegal because they've taken people's homes all because they didn't cut the grass. Did you know that? No. Aye. I wish there's something around here. There's three houses around here within four or five hundred yards that have the most disgusting front gardens. Yeah. You know, um, What's the one, one of them desperately needs painting as well. Mm. Or, or all of the windows ripping out and new PVC putting in. Yeah. So that's what they've got the. the no, I just think it's scandalous, you know. I think I think I think some of these fines uh, are just excessive. They really are excessive, you know, and uh, just too excessive. You know, people don't have that money. 
What do you think? Uh, I don't know. Brain doesn't want to work today, Pete. <laughs> um, it's Stephen. having a day off. I, I was so looking forward to Mr. Stoke being here with his team doing absolutely brilliantly yesterday. So can't mm. uh, tease him, can we? He may be fainted. If the one he's maybe fainted and not recovered. They scored five goals yesterday away from home. That's good. Yeah. And we you won't can... talk about the miracle that happened up in the northeast. Where mm. something happened that last happened in nineteen fifty nine. What was what that? Was that? Oh, the the villa beat Burnley. At Burnley. Oh. Was it two two one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're it's, not having a good time. It, it, you're still way up the charts from what, where we are. No, we're not. And to be honest with you, I almost feel like we'd be better off going back to the championship. At least we, we win things there <laughs> on a regular basis. We, we're going down. We've gone from 7th to 17th. It's, it's worrying at the moment. Anyway, over to Tish. And Tish is saying, Homo Association... We have those in the USA. Uh, you have to agree when you live there to follow the rules of the association, including keeping your yard up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I can't get over that. I mean, to us, a yard is a square of concrete flags at the back of a terraced house. Yeah. 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 It is, yeah. A yard in America can be three or four acres of yeah. nice grass. <laughs> Just totally different meaning. But this was a this was the, I thought that this was, I know the homeowners have got it, but this was um, this was uh, a, a, like a council that done it, and they're taking their homes from them, and they've taken quite a few homes seemingly, which I think is a bit much, you know. Anyway, um, yeah. Anyway, right. Okay. Something serious. What are you doing with your Christmas trees? Well, for the last three years, uh, mine has been chopped up and gone down the allotment for ah, right. okay. for shredding and then using as um, ground cover. We didn't have a Christmas tree. Uh, we just put some lights up. It was just the two of us. And so we didn't have a real Christmas tree doing something for the environment. We're not using them. And not having a plastic one? Not having a Oh dear, he's frozen. Oh, he's back. No, it's it's been fro the the um I'm just looking at the, the, the signals about week today. I've got a feeling a lot of when people use the internet, if there's a lot of people using the internet, does that cause a problem? Well, well it's a it's shared like resource. motorway, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's green now, but as I say, John, we're still in holiday here in Scotland. It's a public holiday. Yeah, I know, but when I booted up it reminded me. Yeah, so I'm still on the laptop, not my new machine. So, oh, right. how is the new machine? It's looking good, but um, this arrived yesterday to go in it, which is two terabytes of SSD. So, yeah, okay. I'm trying to make it as fast as possible. Right, and will but, that make a big difference? Oh yeah, massive difference SSD makes. And how much is that? Two terabytes, you don't want to know. <laughs> Come on, Come on. Um, I got that in uh, the Amazon specials. It was 158 instead of 185. That's not bad. No. Now, for two terabytes, it's a lot of space. So that two terabytes is, is going in, and then that's another two terabyte disk, and that's got, there's only space for one. Th uh, large three and a half inch disc times and we're and the, all the other spaces are two and a half inch um and that's going to back that one up so what, I'm gonna, what about the speed of the processor is that obviously makes a yeah well uh, it's it's got um a, a, a um i5 9600 which is pretty fast okay you see because i need a new one from a karaoke because i've got external discs with all my songs in them Mm -hmm. yeah. I, want, I want them to put them inside a computer so they're there rather than being outside it, you know? Yeah. Well, you can upgrade your laptop. 
okay, I'll maybe look at that. I've got a Lenovo. You can upgrade it. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think with a laptop, it might pay you if you're not an engineer type person it might pay you actually to go to your local laptop specialist and pay him 40 40 pounds to fit it for you yeah i'll i'll, I'll do that no listen because with a laptop you generally you've either got an access on the bottom which you can unscrew and straighten yeah. right? or it remain, means removing the keyboard undoing screws and removing the entire no, i'm not room. doing all that no not enough for that right now, can we speak about Brexit? What? No. Not, not, until <laughs> no. 20, not until the end of the year, no. No, 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 no. We must speak about it. So yeah. I'm looking. Now, do you know who's popped his little head up today to say something? Do you know what it is? That guy from Ireland, what's his name? Varanka or something like that? Varanka. Mr. Uh, Varanka. He's popped up now and he said, we must get a deal with the UK. It suddenly dawned him how much he would need the UK and he's on there today saying oh we must get a good deal with the UK different they've all got different eyes <laughs> no you don't notice that the attitude just changed now they know it's happening and he says we must get it done by the end of 2020 different story now excuse me oh then I choke about it <laughs> Stephen, it's 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 gonna uh, it's gonna annoy us for the rest of the year, and then yeah. it's going to annoy us in 2021 and 2022. Um, there's no way on earth that we can be better off um, economically. It just doesn't make any sense. But Peter, I'm just I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm yeah. not gonna let anything get the better of me. Uh, Keir Starmer. Do we think he will be the next Labour leader? Seems the only sensible one to me. Not that I'm really paying that much attention to it. Well, they did a poll yesterday and of the Labour members, because Labour are going to have a new leader. Jeremy Corbyn is stepping down in March. So they have to elect a new leader. Um, and Keir Starmer is, at the moment is the people's favourite, which... Uh, yeah, I suppose during the, the election campaign, he was uh, least consistent in what he was saying, even if he didn't agree with the rest of the party. Um, well, lots of people like that woman from Yardley, Yardley and Acox Green. So, Jill, which is the next, uh, the next, um, what do you call it? Constituency to me. So, where yeah. my son lives, I can't think of a name now. Very outspoken woman. Jill, Jill, Jill something? Jill? No? No. No. Okay. Yeah. So they've got to elect a leader by the end of March. And we've got to elect a leader as well. The Lib Dems need a new leader. Um, well, should be the man that came second last time round. That would make it easier. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. I, I, and we're out in the wilderness again. Um, I mean, Boris is going to run rule the roost until well, for another five years really because he's got a majority of 80 so he can do whatever he likes really can't he yeah tish says two terabytes is more than adequate space the reason for two terabytes is do video work and you need a lot of workspace while the videos are yeah. uh, thinking that's not in video stuff that's nope, using nope. camtasia or that. other products yeah now yeah. when you disappear peter what happens immediately before well i'll tell you what happens i go down to the bottom bit underneath you north know, to connect camera an x split black box comes up and then yeah. i have to go and put on the pro camera because when i try to get x put up it doesn't come up i have to go in and and it says it's using another camera it's just a bloody nightmare Take XSplit off your machine and just live with the background you've got. <laughs> no. Well, do you think a bit of like to XSplit and tell them? Yeah. Well, but, but I, I would go one further than John. I would say delete XSplit entirely yeah. and then install the latest version okay. and try again. Okay. Yeah, because uh, if software goes wrong, you there's nothing that... 
there's not much can be done no. other than to get rid of it and bring it back. Yeah. And if okay. when you bring it back, it doesn't work, then you just got to say, well, on this machine, it's not going to play. And, uh, okay. you know, yeah, we're, it's, we're it's in the stage now. now where we, we don't have really have much saying what happens to software. No. No, not very much input. Are you still using Exploit? Yeah, I do. I do. I use it on one show a week, uh, not to overdo it, but it's it still works. Uh, I've got the latest version. Um, when did you last update? Oh, just the end of the year. All oh, right. Okay, that's the latest. I'll play. I'll then. play. I'll play around it when I finish. Um, yeah, but. Uh, what what gets me is I look at some people's streams and I know that they are they are using a background effect thing, you know, mm -hmm. some yeah. somebody that uses Zoom and it looks solid. How did it get so solid? Well, the the factors are having the green screen which you've got, yeah, the lighting. That's yeah. about it, really. Those are the only two things that can affect it. Yeah. Yeah. And the product it's working with. What's a really good camera nowadays? Webcam. The Rolls Royce is the Logitech Brio. Brio. B R I O. Correct. And what does it do? What does it do? Everything. Um, it basically it, it's the next step up after the C920, 922. Brio. Do you have the Brio? Yeah. But it doesn't isn't supported resolution wise is not it? by facebook no no not by be live no not by um it's a 4k basically. camera basically pete mm, mm. yeah yeah i mean if i was to go just me on screen and go with xsplit or uh obs or vmix then i'd get the resolution if i was going over to youtube yeah just me to youtube i could get a fantastic resolution but good. Uh, on Facebook, we are still restricted. Okay. Okay. Now, do you have relatives in Australia? Uh, I do long distance ones. Oh, well, not long distance, but distant cousins. My, well, my, my wife's brother lives in Adelaide. Right. Okay. With his family. At the moment, as we know, I've seen a map of the fires, and the fires are a ring all around Australia. Really? Yeah. Kind of. I know this is a bit off the wall, but is nature telling us we shouldn't be there? I was listening to. Um, I don't know if you have you seen the one with the koala bear coming out from the side yeah. and stopping cyclists. Jesus, that got to be the claim up. Too much for me. Beautiful little creatures. And they're in danger. But there's been over a, 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 you know, about four billion deaths of wild animals mm. because of the fire. And yeah. uh, but I was listening to a real I was a real raw one uh, one of the talk stations yesterday. One of the green type people come on and there'd been a big argument about you no. Know, they say there's no need for back. What they do by a backfire is the 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 burn stuff during the year. The so if there's a fire, mm. it can't spread. Yeah, right. Yeah. And actually stopped it. They stopped doing it because there's environmentalists or someone was having a go. And boy, when he took up that, when the radio presenter told him about, it, boy, did he try to change that subject quickly? He says, you haven't answered the question. Bam, lives would have been saved if it had been done, and you got it stopped. And I've never seen somebody change the subject so much in all my life. Yeah. You know? I mean, I spoke to, to James and Karen, and they're up in Brisbane. And Brisbane is clear of any fires, which is good. Mm. Uh, but New South Wales and Victoria are bearing the brunt of it. And we're, yeah. we're I mean, it's December here, which means it's July in australia so they've got two months of hot weather to come is that right Ooh. yeah is that there july this is equivalent to yeah, they're in in july now season wise yeah, yeah. i know 
suppose that there's a couple of guys that when you're in the British Army, once you do X amount of years, you can actually go over to Australia and join their army and carry on. Uh -huh. And uh, and there's a couple of the guys that I know uh, that used to be in the regiment. They're actually volunteer firefighters as well, so they're out fighting the fires as well, you know. And they are giving us feedback, but it just shows you it's the same in America. They get it too, you know. Yeah, well, in it. New South Wales, they've uh, declared a state of emergency, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're expecting the worst this this Saturday uh, because the the changes in the weather. I mean, the, the, we we talk about the Amazon rainforest. We talk about uh, deforestation around the globe. There's more deforestation taking place in Australia this time round than right. the rest of them put together. Wow. It's really scary. Yeah. Do you know there's even people been told to go into the sea? The 4,000 people, yeah. To the sea. Yeah. The, sea. the only direction they could go. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I hope they've got boats and things going to that area to help them. You know, I think they've all been rescued now, haven't they? Have they? That was my phone. Let's see what's happening here. Right, this meter in the top left-hand corner under the live. What is yeah. it actually supposed to measure? The weather. Speed is, it? It's the weather. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> the weather. It's, it's, it's raining, it's going to rain. It's it's only got two conditions. I don't know the no. faintest idea. I no, no. Here on the screen, yeah, I've got five bars, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That keep going red and orange. I'm the, I'm the same. Now they've gone green. Now they're back to red. Yeah. yeah. Now they're brown. So I thought that was just my internet. So we're all getting the same colours at the same time. Mine's just three bar yellow now. No. Yeah, okay. me too. Not me. Um, one red. Um, and red. Yeah. There is another one, John, which you won't see on your computer because yours is a ninja computer. Uh, ninja. Peter and I had, <laughs> a message, had a message <laughs> saying that our, com our computer was out of resources and we needed to close things down. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, the only thing I've got running on this one is... Um, well, is... Uh, okay. Yeah, what's the browser called? Chrome. It is called Chrome, yeah. Yeah. No, no, my brain didn't want to work then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's age, John. It's age. It's don't worry about it. We don't worry yeah. about it. And now, my, I've got a message that's saying your computer is overloaded. Please call close all necessary apps and tabs to improve performance. Yeah. So that's what you will see if you but I'm just trying to get to the bottom of that because it only started appearing two days ago. So I want to find out what's going on. Say so good morning to Corinda and Corinda says Hi, Corinda. Okay. Happy New Year, Corinda. And uh what episode is this? We can state without fear of contradiction that this is episode two hundred and eight of Loving for Britain. Or oh, twenty twenty, a bleak one. <laughs> I don't give me a new number in system. I can just about cope with <laughs> this being one bigger too than the other. Yeah. yeah. Don't make it too complicated. Uh, and Corinda's saying, yes, it's really bad. I don't know what's really bad, but it is. Well, so what, what, what's happening the rest of you? I'll tell you what I'm looking to do after this. I'm going to wait and book a flight to Berlin. Ah, um, right. You're going to go and do it. Yeah, well, it's, it's good yeah. because it served two purposes. This year, a pest, the European Pest Control Exhibition is in Berlin. Okay. Yeah? So I'm going to take advantage, and uh, my business will be paying for me to go over. And uh, 120, 100, 129 to £130 return to Berlin from Aberdeen. That's not bad, considering the amount it cost me even to get to Birmingham or London, etc., etc. How's that? And I'll probably use um, what do you call it? Airbnb. Have you ever used the Airbnb, guys? I've thought about it, but never actually done it. I've done it once. I felt a bit uncomfortable going to somebody else's house. It's quite a funny story because when I went in, in a key outside, and I went in, and I helped people inside 
and then I was stairs that would have led up my room. I said, I'd better let him know I'm here. And I banged at the door and I'm going, hello, hello. Nothing. And I heard these two people chatting. So I went upstairs and I said, oh, this is a room. And I came up and I went down again. And I really bang, 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 bang. The guy said, hello, can I help you? I says, I'm here. And then the woman came out and she says, oh, hello, are you Peter? I says, that's me. I says, just let and she says, she says, I'm deaf. <laughs> she was actually deaf. Oh, and, the guy, and he was a guest and he didn't tell her. So I thought, but it was straight. I just didn't like it. Being in other people's houses. Yeah. Especially using their yeah. toilet. Yeah. Didn't well, like some, that. Sometimes you can actually get the whole house or a, a flat or rather yeah. than just a room. I'll have a look at I'll have a look at uh, I'm I just I'm not too comfortable with it. Don't not too comfortable. Would you do it, John? Um it's never occurred to me that it would be something I'd want to do. Yeah. Um but the guys from one of the uh one of the video products I use, Dropmark, uh, they came over they went funnily enough they went to berlin then they went from berlin to amsterdam and then they came to london in all three places they stayed in airbnbs and they um, all three of them they took us a tour and round the roofs and they were pretty damn stunning <coughs> but i reckon all three of them were second homes yeah right. all being let yeah. using airbnb to pay the mortgage basically yeah, mm -hmm. there's been yeah, some strange sense. stories with Airbnb, you know, places getting wrecked and things and other things, but I just like method tells. Look, so Stephen and I have a, a friend, Andrew Wilcox, who uses them every time he goes up to London, so. Mm. Right. Right, question from Corinda, which we haven't got to yet, so I'm going to bring... A revolution! Yeah, he means resolution. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a right wing revolution in this country, I'll tell you. <laughs> although, although yesterday he kept, uh, and the day before he kept putting revolution up. When he was resolution. Revolution, <laughs> yeah. You just got yeah. one letter on, Corinda. Yeah. Do we have any? No. I, no. I don't just know. Just the point yeah. in them. Yeah. Just to get, I've got things in my mind that I want to do, but I, I don't want to say them out. Somebody's just said, hold my account for the rest of the year about uh, alcohol, not drinking any alcohol. Mm -hmm. So I put in the post, well, I've not drunk for 15 years. If you need any help or tips or anybody else that wants to get in touch. And there's quite a few websites now, they're making money from actually, about being sober, you know. How to keep sober or not. There's a lot of people wanting off alcohol, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think and there's a bit of a social stigma of coming off alcohol. You get treated differently. I can tell you that right now. And you, once you're over that, it's no problem. No problem whatsoever. I just look people in the eye and you don't drink. I say, absolutely not. Because I can see people like you and the mess you get into. And that just shuts them up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we drink occasionally, and if we have a bottle of wine, it's between the two of us, and it lasts two and a half days. Yeah. That's the sort of thing. I even got alcohol-free lager that I put in the house. Sheila drinks it all now. I says, what's my name? <laughs> she says, oh, it's nice. It's so, just about acceptable with some lime in. Or for um, beer. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise... Where's the sink? <laughs> well, the two I like is San Miguel and uh, Heineken's the best one for me. Bex Blues like dishwasher. And uh, what's what's uh, the wine? You can get wine. Uh, I didn't like it at all. Uh, but there was a Perona. Have you had a Perona with the drink? No. Perona. Is that what? For, Perona. The, the youngsters all like a Perona. Or some, I think that's the name. It sounds like that. We also get that alcohol free now. And you also get Cobra. No Cobra? You get the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a Cobra Z. I've mm. got Cobra alcohol free downstairs. 
Yeah. People are changing, folks. Well, I'm with the curry. Yeah. All your taste gone from being burnt by yeah. the curry, so. <laughs> I could be as great with the curry. No, I found, I found when I drank, uh, did drink and I had my drafts before, I, I didn't even finish the pint. It made it taste horrible. Yeah. I want to know what Corinda thinks is bad. Uh, yeah, Corinda, what you said something was bad, just to remind you. Uh yeah, it really bad. Yes, it's really bad. We don't we don't remember. John and I getting on in years, we don't remember what you were talking. <laughs> right, Except okay. No, like I Corona. Don't, yeah, we don't have any uh I don't have any resolutions as such, just targets. Oh well, that's Tish. Um in England, Corona was a pop for many, many years. Um, a soda, as you guys would call it. Yeah. Corona. Remember, remember the advert? It's coming back in my head. Corona and Mason's were the two big pop brands. Yeah. Corona. No, uh, Corinda's asking what episode is it? 208? Yeah. Yeah, we've really done that one. But we want to know. Yeah, it really bad. What what is it? What's really okay. bad? I'm gonna try again. No resolutions here, but we do have targets, and the target this year is to run five Ks and park runs. And uh I joined I joined Park Run in 2014 and I haven't done a single park run. So we're doing our first one this year. Very good. Um, uh, uh, over Christmas. Uh, Tom and his partner ran over here twice uh, and they live about four kilometres in each direction. Uh, madness. That's not well, madness. Stephen, uh, I've been, about a year ago, I was doing three, five Ks in a week. Park run two. But then I got plantar fasciitis and it scuppered it for me. So I hope to get back to doing five Ks. Really do. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm walking just now as well to build up a bit. Yeah, amazing that, that, that you look at. But you want to before we join, we're actually running in the dark at the moment, so nobody can see us. And then we're, when we're happy with the pace that we're going, we'll actually show ourselves in daylight. And no. then when that improves, we'll go and do a park run. Have, um, are you using an app for it, Stephen? Uh, Angelica is. Angelica. Is uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, I, I just got my, my walk, which is recording the stats and everything. Uh, and Angelica's got an app, which has got music attached to it. And I just follow Angelica because she sets the pace. There's a very good app called Coach to 5K. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And it said, are you ready? Let's go. And it takes you through day by day in your, in your walk. And then you run, it times you. And the woman says, keep going. You're nearly there. Finish. Yeah. Now, tomorrow, take a day of rest. And then you go back into the app the second day. And Sheila and I were doing great until she started beating me. And I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, my son-in-law, yes, he's actually my son-in-law now. Uh, his <laughs> sister uh, runs marathons. She started about two years ago. Um, and she changed her job. She was a, a nursery nurse, I think. Uh, and she became a postie, and she walks 10 kilometres every day. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, I'll tell you what, I used to, this is a state I stay in many years ago. I used to, I used to uh, be, the, be a milkman in a, here, and uh, I stood in for the guy when he was off uh, in a holiday and things, and it was some room. But being a milkman, I had to go in for a second operation, I had to go in for a second operation, and I never forget I must have been about. Yeah, uh, I went and I lay on the table, and I remember somebody saying to me, "Do often get a, we don't often get somebody as fit as you, Mr. Stewart, you know." And the milk had just kept me fit, but I didn't know it. Yeah, I didn't know it. I just I just went and done it, and I was fit. Now, talking of people being fit, uh, Angelica's daughter Katie uh, did. Everest Base Camp last April, I think. Mm -hmm. So she wanted a different challenge over Christmas. So she just went for a quick walk up Kilimanjaro. 
All right. So she Thank got you. to the summit of Kilimanjaro. It took six days to actually get there. Um, and she did it on her own. But she didn't actually on her own. She was the only one in the party, but there were nine people looking after her. Uh, there was a chef. There was somebody to carry a rucksack. There was somebody to carry a loo. Um, a team of nine, actually. Somebody carrying the loo. I mean, I'm just going to wait to you. Then... <laughs> Sorry, Peter, I missed that bit. I was saying I was just about to see. Where did they go to the toilet then? Ah, right. Okay. Well, when you went, they go ahead of the yeah. main party, and they, when they get to the the camping ground for the night, they set up a a, a personal tent, a feeding tent, and a loo tent. Yeah. Yeah, and it's already there waiting for you. All you do have to do is climb, well, sort of these mountains. Because, I mean, Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa. So, okay. Yeah. So, congratulations to Katie on actually doing it. And uh, next, she's off to Peru. Is, uh, is, Katie, is Katie German or is she English now? Katie, Katie was born in England. Uh, okay. She's totally English. She's got a Wiltshire accent. Okay. She doesn't speak German. Well, does she? Does she not? She speaks a bit, a bit but okay. uh, Angelica made a conscious decision that both Martin and, and Katie will be brought up with their English as their first language. Okay. So is uh, Katie allowed to become a German citizen? Mm, only in, Angelica lost her German citizenship. She's got British passport. Oh, uh, right. she, in the early 2000s, without her being able to do anything about it, she lost her German citizenship because she could no longer have dual nationality. All right. So uh, two years ago, she reapplied for it when we started to leave the EU. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And she's waiting to hear whether she can actually have it back or not. She should get it, but it's a long process because they don't... So who decided it. that you couldn't be German anymore then? Who, was that the German authorities? It was the German authorities, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Quite interesting. I know there's a massive uptake, uptake of people getting Irish passports. Oh, yeah, yeah. Massive. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they were going to offer us all the opportunity to be European citizens after um, anyway. That was mentioned. That's that a possibility, yeah. That would be too yeah. much. I don't know what to do with it. I haven't even got a British passport, something I ought to fix, really. I um, let my I, uh, no, well, for us, I was I was one generation out in an Irish passport. Because <laughs> I was gonna apply for one just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case we stayed. <laughs> <laughs> I know people that have got dual passports, you know. Well, if Nicola has a way, mate, you'll be needing a passport to come and visit oh. us soon, won't you? She want to get away, though, because Morris isn't. The... That's not going to happen. I can right. tell you that right now. Well, Morris, Boris Morris. isn't going to let her, is he? So that's no. the start. No. no. Uh, uh, my point of view is. Face it, brings it happen. Why don't we just all make the best of it instead of trying to scupper whatever happens? That's what I say. I, I'd like to make a proposal. Yes. John, the floor is yours. Just a moment. It's your birthday. You can have centre screen. That we do not mention the word Brexit on this for the whole of January, unless it's an emergency. That's my proposal. You have no chance of that. <laughs> we can what do we need to can, talk about it for? It's I happening. Can, I can keep it off the list of topics, but it doesn't mean we... No, we I think we should pressure. change it to something else. We'll, well, the name we'll change the name of it. Uh -huh. What can we change it to? Brex done. So something more patriotic. So, something so positive. Yeah, something positive. Yeah? British and, surrender. No. Instead of instead of having a go and say I won, you didn't. Ah, but we're going to no. get his back and all this that sort of stuff. I've got it, Peter. Independence for the seventy million. That trips off the tongue. What seventy million? The seventy million people in the Great Britain. All oh, right. Right. How I'm many not... people bothered to vote? No, we, not, no, we said you, John. You, we <laughs> said we wouldn't do it. <laughs> Oh dear. 
I, I, well, I, what I'm going to say is the most used words of the 2020 will be uh, will be because of Brexit. That's mm -hmm. that's the words we'll probably hear this year. You use that bloody word again. There's no getting away from it. It's there. That's. I, I don't know. We just have to wait and see. But I'll tell you, Europe's working doctor is leaving. That's for sure. That's is, stunned, stunned silence. Yeah. Uh, right. So we'll, we'll try, John, not not to mention Brexit for the rest okay. of January. Right. Okay. Did you see that Boris Johnson has put away billions of pounds to give to the farmers because they were scared they didn't get subsidies from Europe again? So he's putting, he's giving them a lot of money. Very good. All right. Right. Okay then. Uh, so no revolutions or resolutions. We do have targets. Uh, Peter's off to Berlin. John has a birthday to celebrate today. What, you, yeah. what will you be doing at four o'clock, John? Oh, I got a Did feeling you? I'll be live with you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to finish my video off. I said to you before, I'm, I'm going to do some videos over Christmas. Okay. Right. No, it's not mm. happened. I was going to do. I did. I actually did do some videos over Christmas, some training videos, uh, and got quite a bit sorted out. But uh, I didn't do any in-video videos, as it were. No. All right. Okay. So that's my task after we've finished here. Right. I know what I'm going to do. So. Right. But my idea was I would have four or five, maybe even six done over Christmas. Then we could gently relax for January. Yeah, just, just, you, guess we were going to plan, weren't we? Yeah. We well, did. we're going to do a schedule of what we're going to <laughs> talk about each week. We haven't even done the schedule. Yeah, yeah. failure, best laid, failure, failure. Best laid plans of men and mice, gang of glee. That's my only Scots for today. Um. This nice new networking with friends. Don't you have a better picture of Fonz? It looks like a criminal on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he did hint at that by saying, do you recognise me? Uh, he <laughs> said, find me on this photo. Actually, that photograph of Fonz uh, was taken on uh, December last year. Yeah, I might change it. Is that 2018 you're talking about or 2019? 2019. I've just yeah. noticed I'm on that. Thanks yes, you are. Yeah. Yeah. Your white van man. Yeah, if you want to send a, send a new photo in, Peter, I'm happy to put it on there. Kelly, on. Kelly's saying, let's catch up. Uh, certainly we can try. And Kelly's wishing us a happy 2020 and Tish agrees. Right, okay. But then he looks yeah. like a criminal. No, no. I <laughs> It looks like a, a, a 17th century villain, doesn't he, I suppose? Yeah. Talk about Fonz, yeah. It's actually a I, Doctor Who photo. I think I look like somebody from SWAT team in America. Remember, remember Hill Street Blues? You look like a mouse exterminator. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, mouse yeah. man! Mouse okay. man! Okay. <laughs> On that note, John, it's over to you. God, is it that time already? Mind you, I was about you was. 15 minutes late, but no. never mind. I hope they've gone when they go downstairs. Um, my unexpected visitors called family. Oh, you better, you better watch it. Don't have a repeat and watch it. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're not Facebook people. You're all right. Right. So, well. I'll say goodbye on behalf of Mr. Stoke, who was going to wash his hair, obviously hasn't, so failed to turn up. Um, probably his hangover is still going after uh, after the night before last. Um, and then it's goodbye from me in the West Midlands, Stephen in the Southwest, the northeast of the Southwest, <laughs> and we're up in Scotland on the uh, wild coast of Aberdeenshire, up in Aberdeen itself. It's goodbye from Peter.
Are you walking later today, Pete? I'm going, Sheila and I are going straight out after this. Are you right. going to do it live? Or? I'll probably go live. Do you know, I keep saying I'm not doing this live. No one speaks to me. I haven't seen you on it either lately. I do. No, Stephen. I watched you the other day. Uh, yeah, but you're tracking me. No, it was busy. I've just had a little sign come up saying I've got 97 notifications on Facebook. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to wait for a walk after this. Fonz villain. I like that. Fonz villain. <laughs> Hashtag Fonz villain. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Goodb